1976, Rugby Sevens fans have been making a pilgrimage here to Hong Kong. And after a three-year wait, we are back to launch a brand new season of the HSBC World Rugby Seven Series. The Cathay Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens returns to its mecca, Hong Kong Stadium in Sokon Po, for the 44th edition of this famous event. Defending Series Champions Australia are in Pool A here with New Zealand, Samoa and hosts Hong Kong. South Africa, they've never won the Hong Kong Sevens. They face France, Great Britain and Series rookies Uruguay. Fiji are gunning for a sixth straight title here in Pool C. They face the USA, Spain and Japan. And last season's big movers, Argentina and Ireland, are in Pool D with Kenya and Canada. Again he goes, he loves the contact, does Maliko, he's lucky rugby was invented, a beautiful kick over the top and the cover as well, Steve on his side, on his side, it's a magician, and Manu Samoa, a world class. Look at the elation on these boys faces, exactly how they wanted to start their Hong Kong Sevens, and the season, putting New Zealand to the absolute sword. And Samoa. Beat New Zealand for the first time since Singapore in 2019. Right. And they do it in style okay, by so 24 points to nothing. Yeah. Cool. Oates again. Patterson. Henry Patterson. They're not going to run him down. It'll be number seven for the Aussie Sevens. And they have not sent the Hong Kong Stadium crowd off with a smile on their face, but Australia will be very, very pleased with that performance. Kick successful. Australia 43, Hong Kong nil. Oh, they can just go to a training ground move here off the set piece. Don Wong can't hold on. Gron Didier has it. He's on a hat trick, remember. He's found Joseph. Oh, nice ball out the back to Grandidier, round the outside. Aaron Grandidier. But the man who was jettisoned from England Sevens has scored a hat trick against Great Britain in Hong Kong. Under the definition of irony, that may well be a statement that summarizes it. Christy Krobola, 22-year-old, out of Droste High School, goes quickly to Davids, shifts it away beautifully. Shulton van Beek runs into the far side. And finally, South Africa unlock the D and get their second score. You can't stop it. That bounce gets them on the outside. The ball is freed up, and then it's all about the wheels. They defeat Uruguay by a score of 21 points to nothing. Melfi goes yet again. The US down on the scoreboard. A vital try needed on that far side. Malachi Esdale looking to slide in. He could be the difference maker in this game. Esdale in for five. And they will win their first game here. A very tight affair against Spain. Winning a narrow one here against a very good Spanish side. Coached by Pablo Feijo, 15-14, the final score, the US over Spain. Big scrum here, tight head, peels around the fringes, and Bucayato whipping it wide, bounce pass to Ioani Temba, who gets his hat-trick in the opening pool game here. And an excellent display from Fiji to open their country on Friday night in Hong Kong. They beat Japan by 59 points to 12. Oh, a saving run, right through the middle. Great opportunism from Jordan Conroy. But Jordan Conroy, with the threat he's got out wide, can always go back through the middle. This is why he's so dangerous, ball in hand. Well, smiles all around for Jordan Conroy and the Irish team that win this one, 28 points to 12. He was pinned.
Oh, this is too easy. Argentina wearing down the Canadian defense, working the fringes. Good chase all the way across from the debutante, Cal Sager. But it won't be enough. And another try for Augustin Fraga and Argentina. And it's the balance he possesses, beats the first one, cruises, and then this little bit of confidence as a look around, gets the old cheeks blowing. And that little subtle change of direction means he can glide in. He knows exactly where the camera is as well, Reese. The men in blue and white dominate. 36 points to nil over Canada. Let's get you up to date with all the results from the opening night here at the Hong Kong Seven. Starting in Pool A was what we finished with, and a couple of statement performances. We finished with Australia 43 nil over Hong Kong, but what about Samoa 24 nil against New Zealand? Work to do for the All Black Sevens. Into Pool B, and yeah, France. A big shutout against Great Britain as well. They were disappointing, you've got to say. Uruguay started well against South Africa, but. South Africa have never won here in Hong Kong, showed their class down the stretch in that one. And Pool C, the USA one point win over Spain, so crucial when you're in a pool with Fiji that you get the wins early. Fiji 59-12 over Japan, so the USA and Fiji with the jump in Pool C. And finally in Pool D, Ireland, really good performance for them. They qualified as a core nation here in 2019 in Hong Kong. They beat Kenya and Argentina. Marcos Moneta, a couple of tries uh, as Los Pumas Sevens beats Canada.